What do you think our potential is, mankind? It's limitless. Are you kidding? Um, I'm a firm believer in the holographic universe, which um, it's too long to explain now, but basically every particle that's in you has the total accumulative mass of everything that exists. That means that inside your body, every atom you have has the total knowledge of 18 billion years, which is how long this, the worlds or the planets, we say, have been in existence since the Big Bang. What is our potential? Gee, I don't know. If we're carrying 18 billion years worth of knowledge in every atom in our body, I think our potential is pretty limitless. Um, yeah. I'm also aware of the fact that in our history right now, we have the potential to just open it all up. I mean, we're breaking the rules of physics as it is. We're starting to actually discover the other dimensional movements through sciences, which, you know, we use as the basic guiding rule. And we're getting ready. We're getting ready to change life as we know it. I mean, they've already told us in all the writings, we're coming up to a thousand years of the golden age. You know, for those of you who are out there who are metaphysicians, uh, remember the, uh, the Lemurians, uh, they were eternal. Uh, the Atlanteans, they were eternal. Well, we lost a couple drowning. But um, other than that, we're the only race that's actually dropping dead on a planet where that wasn't the norm. And so I figure it's not going to be really long before we discover we don't have to drop dead. And that the potential of living eternally really exists here. Um, a lot of people say, well, geez, by the time I actually started to believe that I should live forever, I'm 95 years old and my body looks like garbage. Um, <laughs> let me give you an insight. If you figure out how to beat death, that means you have the power of the universe and you understand the true essence of life. And one of the first things you'll notice is, is that you won't stay in a 95-year-old body. You'll tell it to youth and you'll get younger just like that. St. Germain did it. I mean, the man's hundreds and hundreds of years old. He's still looked at like he's in his 20s. Um, he gave the elixir uh, to one of the queens and she became the ageless queen. I mean, this is all. You can go to the library and read material like this. St. Germain was in the courts, uh, Louis' court, you know, and Marie Antoinette's. Uh, and you could see that he was in courts for like 50, 60 years. The guy still looks like he's 20 years old after he's been there for 60 years. Come on, people, you got to start paying attention to stuff out there. The universe is giving us the examples. The human development is finally at the stage with its intellect of believing these things are actually possible. Part of us already are in the labs demonstrating it so that we can teach it to the next generation. I also believe that we will be able to cure everything that's on the planet in terms of sickness within the next, you know, five to ten years. And the most amazing part will be it won't have anything to do with medicine. It'll have to do with the God, the Christ consciousness, the soul, and being able to use your divinity along with the physical structures that we'll discover and have a complete package rather than thinking physically you're going to change the whole body. Well, in terms of medicine, I haven't seen anything yet that you inject into the body that soothes the soul. And until we can understand how to heal the soul properly and blend the physical and the divine together, that's where we're going to have the secret. And in terms of metaphysics, we're that close. I'd like to get your take on the environmental movement the whole business of we're polluting the heck out of the planet and you know things are there's a hole in the ozone and you know things are going to hell in a handbasket but fast yep yeah i've heard that one too um i think what you do on the planet is a matter of your personal preference um if you believe we need to save the whale or save this or save that then get out there and save it because that's who you are and to cheat yourself of that feeling of responsibility um, would be cheating yourself. As far as the planet having a problem, I'm still with the premise that whatever it is, it's perfect. Um, of course, then people tell me, well, there's so much pollution in the air, and we made that. You should have taken a look at the planet during you know, other ages, uh, especially during lots of volcanoes and stuff like that, or when the planet was even being made. You know how much atomic pollution was on the planet then? a zillion times more than what we've got now by a zillion 
yeah, we're blowing a hole in the ozone. I give you a clue. Science already knows how to close the ozone hole down. Don't let anybody fool you. We as a human race ain't that stupid. We're just not. Where the slowness is, is trying to convince the rest of the world of new thoughts. Um, if we were destroying it, I think God would have probably stepped in, gave us a good smack in the head and said, get a grip down here, look at what you're doing. But it hasn't. But it has given us examples like that before. If you look in the Bible, it said God decided to destroy the human race after a hundred years, and then you have Noah in the ark, and it basically wiped everything off the planet according to the flood. Now, God was a little upset, you know, that people were getting a little out of control. Uh, and they didn't even have the pollution that we do, and God, like, pulled the cork. Now, uh, I figure if we really get, you know, too testy out there, God will probably come along and go, yo, let's get a grip, this is what we're doing, bingo. Um, but I also noticed that it lets part of the human species survive. So I think it's a learning experience rather than us destroying stuff. But as a conscious being, we're still learning how to protect that. And I think that's God giving us an insight on like, yeah, of course, you're blowing it, but here, you do have enough love in your soul, so I'm not going to pull the plug on you. Let's see if, you know, if I inspire you, you can help it along. But I still think everything's perfect because that's the way God set it up.